Our first idea is to add practical lights. And practical lights are the lights that you can see in the video. These are great because they accomplish two things. The first is that they become background objects that add interest to the background and depth to the overall shot. And the second is that they help raise the overall ambience of the room as well as create dimension through the contrast of light and dark throughout the space. The lights to the right of me are the Nanlite Pavotube 30Cs, which are full RGB tube lights. And the light to the left of me is the Aperture B7C, which is a full RGB light bulb. And I mounted this to the wall and turned it red to mimic a tally light to indicate that we're recording. I'm trying to be creative, so let me know if this is pretty cool or if it's just kind of ridiculous. A very simple and effective way to add a practical light is to put a nice lamp in the background. We've actually done this in our past videos and we placed our Aperture B7C inside of it to get great quality light and the flexibility to have any color. But you can also just put any light bulb in it and save some money. Our second idea is to add something to the foreground of your shot. Adding depth is what makes your videos look cinematic and just overall more interesting, but we usually think of adding only to the background and not the foreground. Practical objects that you can place in your shot are microphones like this one and or your laptop or your iPad. Having your cool podcast mic show in your videos is a cool thing to do nowadays. And if you wanna learn how to connect any XLR mic straight into your camera and get great sound, watch our video on how to do just that. And you can find that in the card up here or in the show notes below. Adding a laptop makes sense if you're doing a reaction video or doing some kind of software tutorial. And you can also just use it for your script or your notes if you're doing live videos or if you need to reference stats for your fantasy football channel. Our third idea is to add a rim light or a hair light. These lights also help to separate you from the background by outlining your head and your body. They're subtle, but they add a lot. I'm using the FTF corner lamp that I actually took off the base and command stripped it to the door frame. And I have it at the same color temperature as both of the tube lights. And because you can see the practical lights, which are the tube lights, it can seem like our rim light is coming from those lights. It's a subtle effect that adds interest to the overall shot. Our fourth idea is to add texture to your walls. As you can see behind me, we have these white sound panels that not only help to get better audio, but they also add texture and interest to our shot. There are plenty of other things you could do like add picture frames and art, shelves with interesting decorations, or be super youtube -y and add one of those Ikea pegboards. And if you can, add things that become leading lines. Leading lines draw the viewer's eyes towards a specific point of interest just like these sound panels are leading lines to me. But be careful not to overdo the walls. You just wanna add a little bit of interest and not distract from you and what you're saying. Our fifth idea is to use a Promis filter. These filters help to give off that filmic and hazy look because they bloom and soften the highlights. So I have the filter off right now, but watch what happens when I put it on. You'll see that the practical lights now have this blooming effect and the overall shot looks kind of hazy. There are different strengths of Pro Mist, and I suggest getting the 1 8 and nothing stronger than 1 4 I go back and forth on whether I like this look, and honestly right now, I'm liking it without. And because I like you guys, we have a bonus tip. And that tip is to use an RGB light to create a solid colored background. Normally, to get a nice solid colored background, you need to have a backdrop with stands and heavy seamless backdrop paper, but that can get really expensive bulky and difficult to set up. But we've made a video on how to get this look with just one RGB light and no additional equipment like stands and backdrops. If you wanna learn how to do that, watch this video and I'll see you there.